Mutabazi for that report. Now moving on to business. Small businesses in this country have gone through tough times and as much as glorious if the government's recent legislation are to go by. Most of the startup, small and medium enterprises don't celebrate their first birthday. Our business reporter Emmanuel Oma explores the seven reasons why and gives us the steps the state and relevant stakeholders have taken to avert the situation. Take a look. <laughs> Small and medium-sized enterprises are a significant bandwagon for any economy. For Kenya, SMEs constitute about 18% of her gross domestic product and have gone a long way to provide job opportunities for the young generation. From hoteliers to cloth linings to m shops to saloon just behind me. It seems that small and medium enterprise is a good venture, but it faces a myriad of challenges. The stringent regulations glued to the small and medium-sized business have proven to be a thorn in the flesh, squeezing nearly half of them from the market. Of course there are some challenges, but according to me I'm not facing that much challenges in my business because it's still young, uh, maybe it was about that interest. Um, one of them I would think, sometimes are uh, natural, uh, how do you call it, calamities. For example, uh, fires, or uh, let me say, theft, yes, and um, lack of capital. Earlier this month, President Uhuru Kenyatta appended his signature on the Finance Bill 2019 into law, a move that will see financial lending institutions charge interest rate at their own peril. But just how will this affect the economy? We say that um, uh, we're in a world of competition, competition, so you have to fit in the environment. For you to survive, you have to also struggle to get uh, also make your business uh, to come an empire someday, so you have to struggle. It's somehow hard because they have much rules on us, like we must have the, the license, yet you are not too much in that business, you know. You are not that, at that point of getting a license at this moment, yeah. But with all these challenges, a helping hand has come for the SMEs. The Kenya Bankers Association on 6th of November 2019, in conjunction with the government, rolled out a new credit platform for small and medium-sized enterprises, dubbed STAWI. Key innovation in this product is that it will use customer transactions to generate reliable data to access to assess the credit worthiness of these enterprises. This will enable many more banks to lend to them. But that is not just all. On Wednesday, during the official launch of the Building Bridges Initiative report at Bombers of Kenya, President Uhuru Kenyatta recommended an increase in monetary allocation to the small and medium enterprises sector as a way to spiral it upwards, since it consists of the youthful generation of this country. With the crowding out effect of SMEs now reduced, Kenya is on the verge of creating a conducive environment for both internal and external investors. It has been double if not triple win for the small and medium enterprises here in Kenya. From the repealing of the Finance Act by President Uhuru Kenyatta to the introduction of STAWI by the Kenya Bankers Association and now to the reduction of the lending rate by the Central Bank of Kenya. With all these baskets of goodies at their feet, small and medium enterprises here in Kenya might just have a clear future. Emmanuel Ouma, KUTV.